I'm gonna go ahead and add my green beans to this because my onions are cooking pretty quick. Okay. Add my green beans. Alright, so I'm gonna put the top on that, put the lid on that. So now I'm gonna add my cauliflower. Okay, that one was eager. Add my cauliflower in here. And you're gonna let this boil for like 15 minutes. All right, so just let them chill in there on the jacuzzi for about 15 minutes. Lucky them. I'm gonna add, actually I'm gonna add the salt. This thing, I don't know why I can take it to lock this thing. <laughs> I'm just going to put the lid on my cauliflower and just let that sit for like 15 minutes. And then we're going to put it in the blender and then we're going to make our mash. So I'm, so I'm going to add the garlic to the butter. We're going to do about two, two tablespoons, but it's not a lot left in here. So I'm going to just do it all. My family and I love garlic. That's sitting for 15 minutes. This is still cooking. I just add this is my pink Himalayan salt I'm adding in here. Pepper. And shout out to Carrie, my grandma, who got me to eat green beans just like this. And this is the only way I've really been eating. Hey Carrie. Shout out to you, girl. I'm going to Put that little corner of garlic in there. Garlic in there. It looks like we have about 10 more minutes for the cauliflower. So that garlic, and now I'm gonna put three tablespoons of almond milk. All right. And then we'll just let that sit, let that marinate for a little bit while we're waiting for our cauliflower. Check on that. Ooh. Nice. Back with our boiled cauliflower. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain it really quick. But look at just, look at these green beans. They look so great. They look so, so great. And turn off the fire on that. Turn off the fire on this. Hiya, hiya, baby. Okay, so we have our butter, our almond milk, our garlic in here. And we're just going to add the cauliflower. Cheese in there, like I do too, but I just want to take a break on that. 
because I've been having cheese all morning. I had cheese in my eggs. I had cheese in my chicken for lunch. Now I just want to have something with milk. All right, so we have to change blenders, but look at it. This is your cauliflower milk. It's a little thinner than, of course, the real mashed potatoes, but a lot healthier than mashed potatoes. Put that to the side. This is fun. So good. All right. So we'll go ahead and put these up and then we'll get ready for the meatloaf cups and then we'll be done. All right guys, so last step to the meal prep. So I already put in some of my seasonings, but we got the pink Himalayan salt, paprika, oregano, cumin, which smells so amazing. It literally smells like tacos. And, uh -oh, and the garlic powder. Now I have other, oh, and of course, black pepper that I did not add. That's that. Now you're gonna add your two eggs. You're gonna add your olive oil, but I'm using grape seed oil. Okay. And then this is some almond flour. Okay, a third cup of almond flour, excuse me. All right, so you're gonna mix that up. So I was supposed to have vegetables in this, but I cooked up all my vegetables. <laughs> so I got supposed to use jalapeno in this and all types of vegetables. Um, my bell peppers, but I ended up putting in like all that stuff in my breakfast, my lunch. See, I want to add a little more cumin. Alright, and I'm going to add little more oregano and then I'm gonna be ready to mold these things all right so ooh, I mold this. <laughs> and put this in our muffin cup this is worse than when you're going like to the nail shop to get a pedicure and, like they start scrubbing on like your feet and stuff and it's like I just don't like certain textures and certain things on my fingertips or the bottom of my feet and meat is one of them and this is just a lot <laughs> all, right. all right so I'm just gonna add that paste on there because you can't have ketchup so what's meatloaf without paste We'll go ahead and put these in the oven for 35 minutes. Okay. Alright y'all. We'll see you in 35 minutes. I'm definitely gonna smoke. <laughs> because I've been cooking all day. And I ain't got no man in my life. And I've still been cooking all day. So... Yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back. Last part, the meatloaf. All right, this paste cooked way too fast, but the flavor is really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it out. Go ahead and put it in here with the others. Looks really good, cut all the way through. Alright guys, so this honestly concludes this day. Thank you so much for watching this whole video and helping me meal prep. If you guys want to try this, leave a comment, if you like it, thumbs up. I can't believe I gotta say that. <laughs> thumbs up on the video and yeah thank you all right i'll see y'all later i gotta figure this out